the Tan Weekly Bulletin, fighting to bring you news straight from the front. The war against the Green Menace is proceeding swiftly and without error. Our force in the front have seen success after success in their crusade to reclaim long lost Tan territory. Just look at these prisoners. Greens are surrendering by the hundreds, and willingly too. And our troops are more than willing to take the advantage and treat them with the proper respect prisoners deserve. Unfortunately, not all is well with our glorious nation. The Grey Nation has decided to attack Tin Eastern Provinces, taking advantage of our war with the Greens. High Command now has to manage a war on two fronts. They have tasked our defense to General Tannenberg and his trusted field officer, Major Castor. Together, they will save the Tan Nation from the barbaric Grey Army. Glory to our Grey Nation! I surrender don't, to don't shoot us, don't shoot us. Keep your hands up and move out of the pit slowly. Go and take him from the left. Yes, Sergeant. Now we have more prisoners for the Major. Someone will need to inform the Captain so we can bring up a rear guard. No need, Sergeant. He's coming right now. Excellent work, Sergeant. Just what the Major wanted. Now we just need to pick out two of the best prisoners from the bunch. Hmm. I'll take you and you. Alright, now we shoot the leftovers. Men, ready your weapons. No way, you can't do that. You can't do it, please. Five. Right, so now these prisoners are being sent to Fort Creed. Sergeant, you're in charge of them. Yes, sir. The file is returned. I assume this means that... Tan High Command has allowed our project to go ahead. Indeed it did, General. We can start shipping out the new units tomorrow morning. Though I think we should spend a couple of days trying to get them prepared for the uh, task ahead. I agree, Major. Prisoners must be aware of what they're fighting for. And of course, our methods of control. If that is the case, General, then I suggest that you head off to the island immediately. Of course, our forces won't be able to hold out any longer without our leadership. You better head off and start organizing these prisoners. I trust you'll follow through with our pre-made arrangements. Yes sir, of course. It's been a week. Managed to find anyone else from your unit? No, no one else. It's just me. Chopper and Grain over there. I don't think anyone else survived the battle. I watched the captain go down with my own eyes. I just want to know where our armor buggered off to during the battle. No point dwelling on it. What about you, Glass? Found anyone? Only four other guys, but they're not from my unit. However, I did manage to find out something. You're the highest ranking guy in this camp. The only sergeant around. I want to think about it too, hard. Huh? Probably going to drag in some colonel or something later on this week. Maybe we should ask one of the guards. Oi, Sandman! What is it, Sergeant Puke? Got any new arrivals today? I don't think so, Sergeant. I believe High Command wants more of you dead than alive. Look out, here comes trouble. Hmm, it seems the mystery of the Lone Sergeant is about to be revealed. Sergeant Teal, Corporal Glass. The Major would like to see you, please. Does this mean I'm in trouble with Tan High Command? Just come with me, please. Ah, Sergeant Teal, just the man I've been wanting to see. Oh really? Who the hell are you then? I'm Major Castor, and that's no way to be speaking to your commanding officer. Commanding officer? We only answer to the Green Army. Well, you won't be for long. The Tan Army's under a bit of a strain at the moment, and we need some extra hands to help on the fields. Well, if you're going to put us into forced labor, then why are you having us sitting around the prison camp for about a week? That's not what I'm talking about. Now, I don't know if you've heard about this, but the Grey Army has decided to uh, start taking some Tan territory. Now, the Tan Nation only has one tropical island, and unfortunately it happens to sit very close to the uh, Grey Nation. 
East End Island is under attack by the Grey Army, and we want you to help us defend it. That's good and all, but what makes you think that we're going to fight for you in the first place? Sergeant, I thought you were smart. Why don't you think about it? Why would I call you up here if I hadn't thought of that already? Now, you may have all wondered why I've gathered you here. Blue and green prisoners, side by side. The Tan Army requires a few more warm bodies. And here they are, in prison camps across the Tan Nation. Now, you're probably all wondering how we're going to get you to fight for us. What an absurd idea that is. Well, I'm going to tell you now, so you don't even need to worry about trying or getting any funny ideas. First thing, all of you are very far away from home, especially on East End Island, where you'll be heading. So your small band of soldiers will be stuck between Tan and Grey territory. Neither of them would be very friendly if you escape. However, because you're working for one of the armies, it seems to be the more logical choice to fight with them if you want to stay alive. Now, naturally we'll have you fighting an opposing army, never your own in case of defection. You'll be fighting the Grey Army, which gives you another good reason to stick with the Tans, because they don't often take prisoners. Uh, Sergeant, I don't like the sound of this at all. Not much you can do about it, just shut up and listen. Oi, you two, quiet. To make sure there's no subpar fighting or heels being dragged, prisoner units that perform will be rewarded. This includes better camp conditions, easier roles in the fighting, and of course you'll be prioritized in the uh, list of prisoners to be swapped during transfers with the uh, opposing armies. There's hope and a chance of going home. No, oh, no, that's bullshit. We're not going to become the lapdogs of the Tan Army just for a bit of bed. Piss off, yeah, screw that. Crap. Crap. Hey, Silence! Private, please deal with that individual. There's no arguing the matter. You either die or fight with us. You know, it's probably more useful for your nation fighting another country's army instead of rotting away in a prison camp anyway. Now it's time to divide up the troops. The blue soldiers will be fighting for General Tannenberg, while the greens will be joining me on my part of East End Island. Return to your dorms and catch some shut-eye. We'll be heading out tomorrow. Prisoners dismissed! Alright you green bastards, this is Fort End, the uh, first line of defense against the Grey Menace here on East End Island. For the first line of defense, this fort really does sure look like a dump. Yeah, well, it's been operating on a skeleton crew until we arrived. I don't think it would have been able to hold on any longer. We need to fight hard to make sure that this island doesn't fall into grey hands. Now, just you remember, if this island falls, you green fuckers are going down with us. You're on a foreign island, a long way from home, with a lot of angry greys at our doorstep, so you might as well work with us. If you're gonna get out alive. Find a spot and get some rest. We head out in 0400 hours tomorrow. Bloody wanker. Looks like no greys are sleeping tonight. Sounds like a pony of everything they've got. Pack your things, prisoners, we're heading out. I don't like it. Too easy for a trap. Sergeant. Go out there and get some intel for us. Yes, sir! Isn't this supposed to be a grey heavy area? I don't know what they're playing at. Have you ever seen a grey soldier? Nah, what about you? Nope. First time. Major, the Greys are positioned on a hill on the other side of a field with the jungle behind them. They have a good opportunity for retreat. The jungle makes good shelter. However, there is a small strip of land beyond this wall and vegetation that will make a good defensive position. There isn't a large force of Grey, around 45 to 50, but they have a heavy tank. Alright then. The Greys have set up shop not far from the uh, jungle perimeter. We now have the opportunity to establish a line of defense. I want our armor to spread out and form a barrier. 
From there we can launch our infantry counterattack. I want the green troops out there first. The aim is to capture the hill and establish a better foothold on our own island. Alright, armor, head out. I'm warning you, Teal. The life of your men rests on your shoulders. You step out of line, and you and all of them we dead. You got it? Yeah, I get what you're saying. It's the tan! about major get out from behind those tanks tan soldiers get priority for cover you can't expect us to survive out there in the open just do what he says private he's your superior that's bullshit sir and you know it we don't have a lot of choices and i don't have time to argue move it Here, Sergeant. Now we need to start taking out those positions. Take your squad out there and flank him from the left. Yes, sir. We're going to attack. Get around the brick and join up with our armored unit. Gunners, we're gonna need some cover fire over there. Assault is no longer sustainable. Order all units to take up a defensive position. Have our armor assist them. It's time to advance. <coughs> armor, lead the way. Men, advance beside you. Stop preparing your squad for the next attack. The left flank has been destroyed! Sergeant Teal! Sergeant Teal! Sergeant, get over here! What is it, Major? Sergeant, you see that grey heavy tank out there? Yeah, I see. It's a pretty big fucking tank. I need you and your men to take it out. I'll be sending a squad of tans up there as well. We cannot advance if that thing is there. Well, we'll get on to it. Men, we have new orders. We need to head out into the grey position and take out that heavy tank. Are their lines depleted enough, Sergeant? Hurry up, Sergeant. Just a risk we'll have to take. Now get out there! No retreat! Centipede ain't going nowhere. Let's move. <coughs> Stop dicking around and sort out the crew. Hey, get down! Victory! The Grey Barbarians have been pushed back off the East Islands, thanks to the valiant effort put up by Major Caster's 12th Battalion. With the island secure, the Greys have lost a critical landing point for their forces. How long until the next attack is unknown, but the Tan army will be ready to take blow after blow, fighting to the death to protect the Tan motherland. Long live the Tan Nation! Well, Sergeant, I seem obliged to give you some degree of recognition for your achievements on the battlefield. <laughs> Even if the uh, Tan government won't. I don't need your praise. Just tell us what you're going to do with us next. Oh, well, we're going to keep you on the island for a little longer. Just in case the Greys decide to uh, make a counter-attack. Gives you the opportunity to prove yourself in battle again and earn your spot on the uh, 
ten mainland sometime in the future. And how long is that going to take? Ask no questions, tell no lies, Sergeant. You should know. They're going to kill us, aren't they, Sergeant? I assume so. Then what's the point of fighting for them? I'd rather be dead. Oh, I don't intend to for long. We just need to keep the Sandmen happy for as long as we can. Earn a bit of trust, get a bit of position, and then when the time is right, we break out. <laughs>